Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marsha with Marsha's Mind. What's on my mind today? The 12th step in the 21 days of manifesting $1,000 cash. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so day 12, your word is your wand. Ding! Growing up, how often did your grandma or your mom or your dad tell you to watch what you say, watch your mouth, or you're gonna get a spanking. Or, I'm gonna take away your cell phone, or however old you are. Or, um, I'm gonna whip you. Or, I'm going to get symbol in your mouth. That's what we got. If we stuck out our tongue, if we talked back, if, not so much say bad words, but if we did say something bad, we would get this hot chili sauce in our mouth. That's what I want to talk to you today about. Not necessarily profanity and bad words, more like the language you use when it comes to money. So in her book, she explains what she means. So I will explain it to you. How many times have you heard the phrase, oh, I can't afford that. Oh, that's way too expensive. Oh, I wish I could buy, but maybe when I'm rich, I'll do those rich people. Oh, must be nice. That's her rich people. Sorry, I can't, I'm broke right now. How many times do we say this? I still do it to this day. Like I'll say, whoa, that's that much? Man, I, just the other day I did in my video. <laughs> and um, these are bad words when it comes to money. Why? Because just like when we say bad things when we were little and we got something taken away, when we say these words, we get money taken away. Whenever you see these phrases, you are literally creating affirmations that perpetuate a scarcity mentality. Mm -hmm. You're manifesting everything that you declare out loud to the world, whether you are consciously aware of it or not. Man, this book is just right up my alley. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. When you say you can't afford something, well, you said it. <laughs> so you're manifesting that fact. Okay. When you say, that's expensive, it will always be expensive. If you say, I can't afford a house like that, you will never afford a house like that. Even if you're, what you're saying is not like technically true, uh, for instance, you can literally, if you literally can't buy something because a thousand dollars, right? Um, act like you can. Yeah, like all, instead of saying to my daughter, no, I can't afford it, I'll say, no, I choose not to buy that right now. So she, Catherine Zempina, in her book, Unleash Your Inner Money Babe, she states this. What I mean is to pretend that you have the 1,000 sitting in your bank. I don't mean to go out of debt, $1,000 in debt. And what she means is visualize yourself spending this much. Visualize yourself acquiring this stuff. Um, so like, as it actually happened. Picture yourself getting it, buying it, putting it in the bag, bringing it home, playing with it, whatever it is. So feel all the feelings you would actually feel as if this thing is in possession. I know, you're probably like, oh God, she's talking about feelings again. It's true guys, feel the feeling, act as if. Okay, you may not be physically spending the money, but energetically you are. She says that she walks around a store and she's like, okay, I'll buy that, that, that. And she says she constantly repeats to th this to herself. Wow, so cheap. I can afford this. Oh, I can afford that. Thank you. You know what's so funny? I do this when something is kind of like hard or if I can't find something, I'll be like, no, this is really easy. Watch, let me show you. And I'll do it and it's easy. <laughs> Or I'll say, nope, I will find it. I'll find it. You will see. I will figure it out. And I do. Declare it out of your mouth because it will come true. Okay. So back to money. Instead of perpetuating a reality of being broke forever, you can start saying to yourself, I can afford. I love being so rich and so wealthy that I can do... I have so much money flowing into my bank right now. It's so exciting. Wow, everything's so cheap. Get it? Okay, so I was just telling this to Rod yesterday. Do not let your circumstances 
dictate, okay? She says, I don't care what your circumstances are telling you right now because it's at an energetic level. Everything that you desired is already yours. It's a matter of matching your vibration to the vibration of the object, okay? Or situation, event, whatever it is. You have to match the vibration of that situation that you desire in order to bring it into the physical realm. And we've spoken about this time and time again, right? It's hard to do sometimes, but what do you feel that essence of what it is you want? Ultimately, we all want something because we think having it will make us happy. But what is the feeling it's going to give you? Feel that feeling. Feel the essence of it. Anything. If it's a new job, if it's your dream job, if you want the feeling of freedom or happiness or satisfaction or passion, feel those feelings. It'll come faster. I'm still learning this, but I have done it and it works. And you just know when you're right in the zone and you're doing it right. You just know. It's weird. It's like it clicks and you just know. <laughs> Like this sentence, you are always co-creating with your creator and you have all the power to decide what it is you want. I know, you're going, oh God, this again? I'm glad you're with me. Those of you sticking to this, we'll get through it. We're gonna do it, you know it. And even if we don't, we're gonna learn so much, we can do it over and over and we're gonna manifest. You'll see. $1,000 you're trying to manifest from the daily lessons in this book. Well, Speak it into existence on a daily basis. Like your vision board, speak to your dream. Thank the universe, thank Jesus, thank God. Whatever you personally believe, speak to it and thank and feel. Feel that how it would feel, okay? All right, remember, everything energetically is already existing. It's already in your bank, in your wallet, in your hand, in your purse. Okay, now. Enough of the self-sabotaging, self-limiting phrases. <laughs> your words have insane power over your life. As Frances Scovel Shin titles one of her books, Your Word is Your Wand. Okay, so Money Babe Action, guys. Get your pens out. Here's some stuff. Your Money Babe Action is to start speaking only what you want to manifest and answer the following questions. What are some of the limiting phrases you have been saying lately that are related to money? Well, I'll give you an example. Have you ever heard, money doesn't grow on trees? Oh my God. I used to hear that a lot when I was little. But like I'll say things like the other day about the pens in my vlog, I was like, this is 30 bucks, gee whiz. That's so not good. And it's probably your parents or society or your teacher, or your religion, or whatever. Now, number three, can you see how they've been manifesting into your reality? Can you find examples of you literally living out what you are saying? Um, oh yeah, mine is, I always said this, okay, I thought it was a good thing. I always said, oh, money comes and goes. Yeah, Marsh, money comes and goes. Money comes and goes. Stop, no wonder you're in and out of debt. No. Number four, can you replace these limiting phrases with their opposite counterpart? Number five, which phrases are you committed to saying from now on to create the reality that you do want? Okay, next, that was it. How fun, I love this chapter. Okay guys, so those are the questions. Uh, feel free to rewind, pause it with the K, rewind with the L or the J and fast forward with the L on your keyboard. So anyway, that is it guys. Day 12, your word is one. Watch what you say. And I'm not talking about profanity guys. Profanity is good. It releases, you know, it releases pain when you're in pain. It releases stress. It brings back your power. Not saying to sit there and cuss in front of kids all the time, but if you gotta say it and you're mad, bring back your power and say it. At least you're moving up the emotional scale. That's another video. So. Stop saying those bad words about money. Remember to say the good things. Okay, more power to you guys. I'm so excited. It's getting close. It's getting close. Come on. Okay, 
like, subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified of these videos so you do not miss a beat, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!